Hi everyone! Welcome to another video by the uh, Technology Club. We hope you're all doing well and staying safe. And we're excited to talk to you today about Dynacare. So this is the second part of our uh, series on accessing your lab results online. And so the first part, we talked a little bit about uh, Life Labs, so you can check out that video um, in our playlist on YouTube as well. But today we'll be talking about Dynacare and we, we hope you find this video helpful. So Dynacare is another platform in which you can essentially um, access your blood results online as well as any other um, health tests that you get done. And so to start off, you have to go onto this website called www.dynacareplus.com and that's where you start your journey of actually registering for an account and navigating your health information. And so in this uh, video today, we'll just walk you through the different steps on how to make your account and how to actually access the information that we see online. So once you go on to the homepage of Dynacare Plus, you'll see a button on the top right hand corner that says login. So the first thing you'll do is you'll just click that login button. And afterwards, it'll uh, send you to a pop-up page that essentially asks you to create an account. And so you can click that blue link that you see on the bottom, highlighted with green, to actually start a new account. Now, to actually make your account on Dynacare Plus, you'll need to enter your information, such as your email address, and then make a password. And so when you enter in your email address, you can use an email that you already have before. And if you don't already have an email address, I would highly encourage you to check out another video that we made a while ago about how to actually start up a Gmail account. Um, because a lot of these websites online, whether it's health labs or other lab results, will ask you for an email address. So it's always good to have one. Um, but yes, essentially in this step, you would enter in your email and then your password. And when it comes to your password, I would also recommend writing it down somewhere so that you don't you don't forget for next time when you're logging in. It'll also it'll ask you then to enter in some security questions so you can pick a question that uh, is customizable to you and that you find easy to remember and you'll enter in a password that is unique to you. Um, and essentially these security questions are just there in case you get locked out of your account in the future you can select the question you chose and then pick the answer that, uh, that you chose as well. And essentially you would just go on and click next. And so then you would enter in your personal information, such as your uh, government issued name as well. And I'll, and I'll pass it over to uh, my fellow volunteers to take it over from here. Yeah, so after that, then you would enter your pers uh, other personal information, your date of birth and your postal code. Uh, and then you have the option to enter your Dynacare Plus pin. So if you've recently uh, visited the clinic, then you would have a Plus pin, which will basically uh, link you to your pre-existing health records uh, that we have at the clinic. Um, so it's kind of like a reference code uh, that's optional. And then you can press next to move forward. And that sends you to a page where you are then prompted to purchase a membership for Dynacare Plus. Uh, currently, Dining Care Plus is $10 a year. Um, regularly, however, it's $20 a year, and it's $50, $15 a year if you're over 60. And then this will send you an activation email to the email that you uh, registered with. And then you just click on the link in that email, and that will activate your Dining Care Plus account. So in order to protect your privacy, um, we need to verify your identity before granting access to your health records. Uh, identity verification is only like, it's only one time, it only happens once. Uh, and there are two ways that you can verify your identity. Um, 
and these two ways are in-person verification. So if you visit a Dynacare location uh, for lab work anywhere in Ontario or Quebec or participate in a Dynacare workplace health and wellness program, then you'll receive this Dynacare Plus pin that you can input. Um, and you can provide this information during registration when you, or when you access your lab results online. Um, the second method is digital verification, where if you don't have a PIN, you can still access your health records by using verify.me um, by Secure Technologies Inc., uh, which is an, uh, a third-party company, uh, when you access your lab results on the My Lab Results tab after activating your account as well. And then you are good to go. You can just press login. Okay, so now that you have a login, or now that you actually have a Dynacare Plus account, you can enter your login information. Uh, and from here, you can see that um, there will be a display. Uh, and this is just an iPad screenshot, but uh, I'm going to assume that the website looks very similar. So first here on the leftmost side, you can see that there will be uh, kind of an overview of all the reports that you've gotten based on uh, what day that you went in to get the lab report. If you click on one, you can kind of see your lab results section where it'll give you a list of all the tests that you completed, um, as well as I believe a very general overview of the results. And then finally, you can also click on uh, each individual test to kind of see uh, a more in-depth sort of graphical and visual um, organization of the data and all your lab reports will be available in your account within three hours of Dynacare having and if you have selected to receive email updates a notification email should be sent to you when those uh, Dynacare Plus allows you to view download and print your Dynacare results although it may be noted that your lab report uh, might not contain some uh, diagnostic tests um, and these can only be obtained by communicating with your healthcare provider even if the result is normal. So on the next slide here you can see that Dynacare Plus is also available in the App Store. So if you have a cell phone or an iPad the app seems to have a lot of cool additional features in addition to the general results that the website provides. So for example, it can kind of track and trend your lab results over time with simple graphs and trending charts. It can track your progress towards your health goals. Uh, so for example, how many steps you've taken in the day, um, dieting, blood glucose, and uh, weight goals. And it can also give you tips and information to inspire you to kind of live a healthier lifestyle. And then here we just have a overview on how to use Dynacare to access your results. So firstly, you're going to want to sign up for an account and uh, get membership. And then you're going to want to verify your identity either in person or online. Then you can access your results and optionally you can download the app to kind of track your health. Oh, and then here there is a little FAQ again in case you want any additional information with the site or the process. Uh, you can click here for the FAQ and contact information. And with that being said, thank you for listening to our uh, video. Uh, if you have any questions, you guys can always find us online at uh, drkearney.com or um, on YouTube uh, by searching Greg Kearney in the search bar and uh, clicking on the account with his, um, with his face on it. You can also email us at drkernu232 at gmail.com. And uh, feel free to reach out at any time. Uh, the door is always open to, to have a chat with us. Um, if you guys uh, need any help with uh, accessing any lab results or any other technology-related endeavors.